We're good? We're streaming? Everyone, you guys are on KSAT's YouTube page. YouTube Live, we are at the red carpet for the world premiere of Problemista right here at the Paramount Theater in downtown Austin for South by Southwest. This is a pretty big premiere. Uh, this is A24 Studios that uh, are premiering this movie here. And if uh, you think about it, A24 was the studio that put out the uh, Michelle Yeoh film that, uh, and of course she just won the Academy Award for that movie as well. So this is a pretty big deal. Um, so we're on the red carpet, getting ready to talk to a couple of the people that are gonna be in this film, including uh, Julio Torres. Uh, you may know him from a show on HBO that was called Los Spookies. Uh, he's El Salvadorian, so um, he's, a, he's a writer director i think this is his first this is like his directorial debut uh so it's going to be pretty cool for him to premiere this at south by southwest and uh, it's also going to have tilda swinton of course tilda swinton is an acclaimed actress she's been in several things uh including uh, the doctor strange movies she's part of the marvel the mcu so she's been in a ton of things so she's in this as well and the Riz is in it of course from uh you know if you remember back in the old hip-hop days he was with wu-tang clan and he's been doing films forever now. So uh, the Riz is in this. We got a lot of other cool people that are going to be part of this film here. Problemisa, that is doing its world premiere out here at the Paramount Theater at South by Southwest. So we'll see. Um, we could talk to a couple of them as they make their way through the red carpet here. Thanks again for being with us on uh, YouTube Live on KSAT's YouTube page. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you've been able to follow us uh, just kind of throughout our experience here at South by. Okay, and I think uh, you're taking a look at Larry Owens. Uh, so he's playing a character named Craigslist. I'm curious to see uh, what he has to say about that uh, character and also uh, just the experience about this premiere here in Austin. What's up, How you doing? Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Uh, so if you guys are hearing me doing a mic check right now, that's because we're also uh, recording this video from a secondary camera right now. Uh, myself and Andrew Wilson are out here at this event. So Thanks for hanging out with us on YouTube Live. Case that's YouTube page. This one?
The handler, you're kind of, yeah. <laughs> you're the most important person here, man. Right? You got to get to. Hey guys, if you're just jumping on our uh, KSAT YouTube live right now, we are at the red carpet, the world premiere of Problemista at South by Southwest. Um, so this is a pretty big premiere taking place here, and we're going to be talking to some of the actors that are involved in this project. Uh, if you're taking a look down the red carpet, this is Larry Owens. So he plays Craigslist. We're going to check out what his character is all about and about um, uh, debuting this film here at South by Southwest. Larry? Larry, tell me about your character Craigslist and explain sort of the background behind that. I think that we just live in an economy where we gotta work, and I think that <laughs> Craigslist people know people know what that is when you say it, and so to be a manifestation of Julio Torres' mind is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, what was it like just working with Julio on this? project and you're, this is your first time in Austin? It is my first time in Austin and just really like being defined, uh, defining the costume design uh, and really like designing that with really a lot of 3D printing and innovative techniques and how this character can breathe life and to walk into that world, you know, we're in a very A24 world where anything can happen from any perspective. So that was a, that was a really, really big treat. And last one, Abbott Elementary absolutely killing the game. What more can fans expect from that? <laughs> I don't write it. I'm on it, and I'm just so excited to be on it. It's the best job ever, and Problemista, you know. So like doing both at the same time, it just I'm just so happy. Congrats, man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jacob, how you doing? Uh, good, good. Uh, what's it like premiering, doing the world premiere here for this film here in Austin? It's amazing. It's so fun to be here. Talk like about just working with Julio and kind of the what you guys had to do day in, day out to make sort of this thing become a reality. I mean, Julio is a very uh, easy guy to work with and a lot of fun to work with. So it's been very easy and it's just been very playful. Cool. Yeah. yeah, for people that may not know much about this film, what can they expect when they get to see it here on the big screen? They can expect a, like, a really playful, fun film that also has some deeper thematic things that will resonate with us. Okay, thank you very much, Jacob. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Congrats. Yeah, I'm good. Hey guys, if you're checking us out on YouTube right now, YouTube Live on KSAT's YouTube page, uh, you are right now at the uh, red carpet, the world premiere for Problemista here at South by Southwest. This is Julio Torres' uh, directorial debut. Uh, he wrote, directed, and also starred in this film. Again, it's called Problemista, and it's basically being described as kind of like a little bit of a darker comedy, I would say. So obviously, if people are familiar with Julio, he was in a show called Los Spookies that was on HBO for two seasons. And he's also a, a writer. He was a longtime writer for Saturday Night Live Live. So this is the first time that he's been able to do something like this here on the big screen. And again, we are live streaming this right now on KSAT's YouTube page. And we are just uh, kind of talking with some of the cast and some of the crew of this film, Problemista, debuting right here tonight at South by Southwest in downtown Austin. Thank you. 
Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, again, we are on uh, KSAT's YouTube page. We're live streaming the uh, red carpet, the world premiere of, of uh, Problemista. And we are about to hopefully speak to Greta Tudelman. She is part of the cast here um, with uh, that this film that was uh, written, directed, and also starring Julio Torres of Los Espookies fame and also Saturday Night Live fame as well. So we'll talk to her in just a little bit. Hi, Greta. Hola, Greta. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Estoy bien. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Estás bien? 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 ¿Estás
Thank you very much, Greta. Congratulations again. Thanks. moment I got to work with Tilda on the film. Um, she is like such a wildly collaborative person that by the time we shot our scene, it was like, I don't know, I felt like I was working with a friend. So kind of the, the smoke of Tilda, the otherworldly, like ethereal, you know, majestic being that is still the not really grounded for me and it was really amazing to just work with her because she makes her look so Yeah, 
we're getting a lot more people here. I'm very happy to talk to you. You look amazing. You got a carry rate. What's your favorite carry rate? Ice carry rate, ice carry rate. Lucky Transformers. You know, just the classic. A good, a good classic thing carry rate. Yeah. And then yeah. I also have another classic carry rate. Oh, it's a nice. Another one super curvy. And I had you show it, show it to the camera. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. I love salad. How do you call this? It's a hat. It's like a little ball of salad. Yeah. Well, I have to ask you. You, you get I declared that you were here last year as a musician, and now you're here as a composer for a film, which is very exciting. Uh, what is more nervous? What, what makes you more nervous? Uh, this is like carpet surgery. Like, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I work on this film for like a whole year, so it's just so nerve-wracking to see my own film together. It's just like a giant one of people. I've just been sat with it for so long, and like this day has come so slowly. I guess this is a musician, it's more personal, right? You're like making music, and then you go and you put it yourself. And uh, in a movie, it's very collaborative. Yes. So, how, the pro how was it to create the music for actors? Comedy. I'm sure that's a very peculiar experience. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, you know, this comedy is not like other comedy. It's very dead, it's very surreal, very strange. And that's like, you know, it's much more of a comfortable like, comedy that I'm used to, that I enjoy, and that like, I rise to. Uh, it's not like trying to, it's a combination of like trying to like, do a little bit of like slaps and rubby, but also just like letting the scene play out for itself without trying to see the music too much. I'm very excited to make it to your score as they go to make the movie better. Robert, how you doing? Congratulations. Uh, what was it like uh, to be able to bring the music and the score of this film to life for this uh, festival here? Um, sorry. So what was it like to just bring the score and the music uh, to life and kind of sort of work with Julio and sort of put that vision all together? Yeah, it was really wonderful. Um, Julio's a very generous director. He really lets you in. He, he really trusted me to score it without like holding my hand. And so I would like go off and like create a world and he trusted me to do that. And so we would come together and talk about it. And then, like make adjustments, but it was a very trusting relationship, which I really appreciate. What inspirations did you have growing up uh, that kind of have led you to this point when it comes to music, uh, yeah. film, putting this all together? So I grew up listening to a lot of pop and rap music, and so RZA's in this film, and I was just obsessed with Zuzay Clan when I was in middle school and high school. I really learned a lot about making music through producing hip hop beats and listening to RZA's music, and so that was like very special thing to work on a film and this is in he said one of my inspirations. Awesome. Thank you Robert. Congratulations. It's really great. Julio is a very trusting director and so we worked very sometimes we worked very closely but once I pitched the world of the film, and Julio was sitting down for it, he sort of just let me go. And we would come together and take notes and talk about it. But generally, he would lead me by talking about, like, this scene needs this emotion. Like, he's not going to tell me exactly what to do for a scene. He's going to be like, okay, this has to be more sincere. This has to, like, go, 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 go. Yeah, but so it's like lots of emotions instead of, like, specific physical ideas. It's really, like, that's me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's not the first time for the team. Hey guys, you guys are watching a live stream on KSAT's YouTube page right now. 
of the red carpet, the world premiere of Problemista out here at South by Southwest. This is the latest uh, film from A24 Studios, which has done a lot of really cool, innovative projects over the past couple of years. And uh, this is a, right down that alley. Yeah, this is the same thing as written, directed, and also starring Julio Torres. Uh, he was in Los Spookies for a couple seasons there on HBO and also a writer for, bar, for about four or five seasons on Saturday Night Live. So we're taking a look at the red carpet right now. Uh, and in fact, uh, this is a San Antonio native right here, James Scully. He's gonna, he's in this film. So we're gonna talk to James here in just a little bit about his experience and also uh, representing from the Alamo City. So this should be pretty cool. I don't think he even realizes that there's probably a KSAT TV station <laughs> here. So hopefully this will be fun to kind of talk to him about this experience, being on this film problem and stuff. Thanks y'all for hanging out with us on KSAT's YouTube page. Ay, 
viajes más chidos en Estados Unidos en español en esta Muchísimas gracias. Oye, y traes tu cap. ¿Cuál es, traes tu revista a esa dos aguas? Sí. ¿Cuál es el, tu, tu tipo de problemas preferidos con los que te gusta meter? ¿Cuál es tu favorito de los problemas que te gusta meter? Proyectos súper ambiciosos. ¿Sí? Sí, sí, sí. Eh, cada vez escribo algo, creo que estoy escribiendo algo súper sencillo. Yo es como que, ah, sí, voy a hacer algo súper fácil. Eso es súper fácil. Y siempre lo estoy haciendo que la próxima es más complicada. ¿Y qué fue lo que... más difícil ahora? ¿En esto? Pues son varias ocasiones, bastante arte, un elenco bastante grande. ¿Y tú te agarraste a ti? Sí. ¿Cómo pasó eso? Leí el guión y le gustó. ¿Y qué, cómo fue esa interacción entre ustedes? Porque por lo que sé, tienen una aventura icónica, legendaria en la película. Es, en serio, colaborar con ella se siente como colaborar con un amigo que ha sido bastante, se siente bastante familiar y bastante cálido. Sí, es como, como te la han sí, sí. en tu comedia, en los programas que te dicen que eres culpa y ahora es que lo que he leído en esta película, siempre inyectas algo de tu, de tu nacionalidad, de tu historia, de tus tradiciones, de, 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 de tu lenguaje. ¿Por qué es importante para ti hacer esto? Sobre todo en este donde este, su personaje está peleando porque la película con su pues es la historia que me salió, o sea, no es como que me siento y digo como que, ay, tengo que escribir algo que, que sea así, 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 ¿no? Es orgánico, es orgánico, y creo que esas son las historias que son más, más orgánicas. Bueno, a tu comunidad te lo agradecemos porque nos encanta. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Mucho gusto. Congratulations, Julio. Thank you so much. Uh, why did you guys decide to debut this, or have the world premiere for this film here at South by Southwest? Well, it just feels like such a fun, fun, uh, warm, like unpretentious, like very inviting environment. I don't know. It just felt like, and I think that that's what this movie is. Mm -hmm. I hope. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just, it just felt like a nice match. And how would you describe a programista for people that may not be familiar with that? Or how long were you working on this project or this concept? Um, well, the title came in very late. Mm -hmm. The title came in very, very late. But I think a problemista is someone who thrives in problems mm -hmm. and someone who makes art out of problems. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite toy growing up? Because it's my understanding your character is a toy maker. Yes. Uh, my favorite toy growing up has changed a lot. I used to have those cars that you would get like gas stations. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? The little like, <laughs> like, like hot, wheel, hot wheels. Right. Hot wheels. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And I would put them in a straight line uh -huh. and I would wait for someone to ask, what are you playing? Yeah. And I would say traffic. <laughs> but I was yeah. just like, they're stuck in traffic and they don't know why. That yeah. was my favorite game. All right, very yeah. cool. Thank you very much, Julio. Thank Congratulations, man.
Hi, Tilda. Um, the last one, guys. We gotta get congratulations. Uh, what was it like to work on this project with Julio? It was heaven. It was one of the happiest times of my life. And why did you particularly choose this project? Because of him. It could have been any project, but I, I love him and I, I'm so privileged to have been asked to so you were the keynote speaker earlier today. What's that experience been like for you and also just experiencing South by Southwest this year? You know, I, I, I was so happy when I heard our film was coming to South by Southwest because I came once before, nine years ago, with Derek, with, uh, Derek Jarmusch, with Jim Jarmusch, with, uh, with uh, Only Lovers Left Alive. And I love this festival. I remember it so clearly and I've been looking for an opportunity to come back because of the audience. The audience is so, like, this is your, your festival. And I, that's a good festival when it's owned by the audience. Awesome. And so, you know, being with the people this morning and being with people tonight, it's just pure pleasure for me. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tilda. Congratulations. My favorite problem is me uh, to to girl problems. <laughs> I like to figure my way out of those. <laughs> Not easy. What's up, man? Long time fan. Big time. Yeah, man. Congratulations. What pro what attracted you to this project, man? You know, well, first of all, I'm a big fan of Tilda. Um, you know, we worked in movies separately mm -hmm. and just gave it a chance to get to share the screen together. And um, the, our director, Julio, uh, had, a, had a propeller unique story you wanted to tell in a unique way and I was like yo let me come party with him. Did you have any part in the music kind of uh, helping out on that no, aspect? No 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 this is this is all our director's work. I came purely as an actor to add my uh to add my energy as an actor to this. Awesome man congratulations man. Thank you. 
end of the day. Are you with James? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're sending Tony Mark. Okay. Yeah. Just bump the wrist. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> crazy. I like. Yes, okay. awesome. Thank you. Awesome. I lost my train of thought for a second. And he asked me to piss. <laughs> I was like, yes. Hi, hi, hi. You want me to hold this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Um. I feel like I'm working on this project right now. So I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> shooting with Toga, shooting with all the trailers. I mean, yeah, yeah getting to make something with friends and people like that. One question I have to shoot. I love you. Are we ready? Yeah, James Bond. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, man. I like your accent. You don't have to speak Spanish. No, I know. You know what's cool? I think it's someone who likes it. Let me ask you. What's your favorite type of place? I think it's someone who likes chaos. Ah, this is really cool. Chaos and problems. And make yeah. art on a problem. Um, I think that I'm the kind of person who do you feel likes like, like really manageable, easy to deal with things. I put them off and put them off and put them off until it's like, okay, now it's you know, a real problem. Baby, so now any you've created an environment where this is actually going to be. Like, <laughs> like, really cool. And if they'll just answer that email, that's such a lame answer, but like, I'm like, oh, you know, um, so I'm writing it. So I'm like creating those problems. I'm like that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 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 If I don't do it like in the last 10 minutes, yeah. it's going to be a bigger problem. But then I will say when you finally answer that email and they're like, thanks so much. And you're like, oh my God, the relief. It's intoxicating. Yeah. You know, yeah. James, thank you so thank much. You so much. Thank, you. thank you. Have a good okay. night. Okay. James, how you doing? Hi, yeah, I'm we're good. from KSAT TV in San Antonio. Oh, Congratulations. San Antonio. Yeah. I grew up in San Antonio. I've I read, read that. Great, great, yes, great, great. I read that. Okay, yeah. so I'll ask you since we're kind of short on time, but for people that are watching you back home in San Antonio and see you at this level, see you kind of working on your career, what sort of advice would you have for fellow San Antonians that may be looking at a career in acting and film? Um... There's a lot of really good theater in San Antonio, which is where I got started. I went to the Northeast School of the Arts. Um, that's where I started training as an actor. And also San Antonio is a super like culturally and artistically rich city. There's so much like creative stimulation everywhere you go. And I think that's not true of every city you could grow up in, right? So I think in terms of like being a creative, whether it's acting or anything, just like really appreciate the advantage you have of like growing up and living already in a place that has so much art to offer you. Like so much, there's like so much of an origin story for any artist living there because there's so much to be inspired by and pull from. And before you set your sights on somewhere like New York, Los Angeles, any of the like big entertainment cities, look around and see like, what can I learn from the people already living in my community? All right, so what was the experience like working with Julio and in this film all together? It was a dream come true. He's a genius. Um, Tilda Swinton is also a genius. And then you got them together, and it was just like genius on genius on genius on genius. And it was just really nice to see everybody working on the project. I was so excited to be there. They understood Julio. They believed in his vision. And everyone was just really excited to come to work every day, um, which I think is reflected in the product. Uh, and it just made well, doing my job at least really, really easy. I just felt like, happy and lucky and excited to be there. Awesome, yeah. man. Congratulations. Yeah. Love much. the look, by the way, Appreciate too. Thank you Lee so High much. School, right? Yes, Lee High School? Yes, yes, awesome. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.
Okay, so we just wrapped up the red carpets for the world premiere of Problemista out here at South by Southwest 2023. This is the latest uh, A24 studio offering, and uh, we're already hearing great things about it. Obviously, you just saw the interviews that we did with a lot many members of the cast. Tilda Swin, The Rizzer, Julio Torres, James Scully from San Antonio. Where is it?